got to be kidding me, man. You have to be kidding me. How do you lose to this team every time? How do we lose to the Marlins every single time? Oh, uh, wait. I know why. Oh, because we have the worst bullpen in baseball. It's back, everybody. The bullpen is back. Brandon Workman stinks. He's officially the worst pitcher in baseball. I mean, I know he wasn't out accountable for all four runs, but it was his fault. Let's be honest here. He stinks. Tommy Hunter, you know, he's come back to normalis, normality a little bit. You know, three earned for him, not not because of his pitches, because of Brandon Workman, you know, the guy that we needed to have. Thanks, Clentech. You're doing great, bud. You suck. I hope you get fired. Oh, my God, you're awful. Awful. You cannot lose this game. You can't. You can't. You can't lose this game. It, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And there were so many dumb things that we've done that, that we did today. I mean, JT. Yes, I understand it was a suicide squeeze, but he didn't. It didn't work, guys. It didn't work. It didn't work. And you got him out. And guess what? We lost the game seven to six. We lost the game seven to six to Jorge Alfaro. That is who we lost to. We literally lost to him. Guys, you, like they cannot lose these games. They just can't. You can't lose a game when you're up six to three in the eighth inning. It can't happen. How do you go four straight innings without scoring a run? How? How? It's ridiculous. You had bases loaded in the seventh. No, in the eighth, you had bases loaded. And he strikes out. He doesn't strike out. He, he grounds out. I don't even know what he did. It's ridiculous. You cannot lose this game. You just can't. And Harper, hitless again. What are you doing? What is he doing? He's betting less than Reese now. I mean, this is a joke. You can't have this. This cannot happen. It can't. It it seriously cannot. I can't believe Brandon Workman blew that game. I can't believe it. He's awful. He's awful. I was going to wait and honestly record this video the next day because I just thought it was going to be a, a, a nice, easy 6-3 to three win. You know, beating up on the Marlins, going up two games ahead of them. But nope, we decided to blow the game like we usually do because his bullpen sucks again. It's back. I mean, it, it's awful. It's awful. We have six more games against this team. Six. I do not feel confident against any of them. Any of them. They, they own us. They are our owners. We play a doubleheader tomorrow. Cannot wait. Yay. Can't wait to spend my Friday night yelling at the TV because there's a bunch of bums on that screen. I mean, it is every game. I can't stand it. I'm, I'm here yelling in front of a computer instead of watching the first football game of the season because the Phillies stink. It, it's awful. It's awful. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. You seriously just can't lose that game. You cannot. Not in the position that you're in now. You can't. Hoskins, one hit, one run, struck out twice. I mean, Harper's still getting on base, but it doesn't matter if he's not hitting at this point. We need him to drive in runs. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. I mean, this dude is in a slump. I get it. But now is not the time. Now is not the time. You cannot... It's, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, God, it, it, it's annoying. How do you lose this game? Is Bohm the only one that wants to do anything nowadays? Two hits, two for three, with a walk, an RBI, scored a run. I mean, he's the only one that I really... This is ridiculous, man. I can't believe we lost this game. I can't believe it. And, you know, it... I'm in shock. Calming down and stuff, like, I'm actually in shock. 
We lost this game. We lost yesterday. Shouldn't have lost. We lo- or two days ago on uh, Tuesday, we lost to the Red Sox. Shouldn't have lost. Now we lose to the Marlins. Shouldn't have lost. But we always do. We always lose to the bad teams. We could beat the. We could split with the Braves. We could split with the Yankees. But we can't beat the good. We can't beat the bad teams. We can't beat Boston. We can't beat Miami. We can't beat the good. The the bad teams. We cannot do it. It's ridiculous. JT, two RBIs, two hits, hit a home run. That's his 11th of the year. Andrew Knapp, zero hits, 0 for 4. I mean, Segura, 1 for 3 with a walk. Didi, 1 for 4, scored a run. But guess what? We lost. How many How many people did we leave on base today? 3 for 10 were runners in scoring position. Three for ten and six guys left on base. Cannot happen. Boom. He's the only one I feel like that's doing anything anymore. DD gets gets a double. JT gets a double. JT hits a home run. But Boom is hitting consistently. Getting RBIs consistently. Hitting with runners in scoring position. Consistently, that's the main thing. Cause nobody is getting these guys in. Look how many. Look, look at this. Two left on base for McCutcheon. One for Reese. One for Harper. Two for JT. Two for Didi. Four for Andrew Knapp. And three for Adam Hazley. It's unacceptable. You cannot be that bad. And I understand we are missing Jay Bruce and Scott Kingery. But guess what? And Roman Quinn. But guess what? That is not an excuse to not, to not be able to get a hit. It's not. Not with runners in scoring position. Why is Harper all of a sudden not able to hit a baseball? What has changed in a month that Harper cannot hit a baseball anymore? I love the guy. Don't get me wrong. He's arguably my favorite athlete in the city. He is. I love him. But he cannot strike out this much. He cannot not get on base this much. And yes, I understand he has gotten robbed. And it is one of those streaks where he can just not get something going. He's gotten robbed a couple times from Acuna. He got robbed the other day by Jackie Bradley Jr. It's happening to him consistently. Constantly. Both. But he needs to get a hit. He needs to get it going. He does. That's what superstars do. He is a superstar in this league. He's the he is an MVP. He is one of the best players in the league. And he's on our team. And we need him to step up. I want this team in the playoffs. And if the Miami Marlins make it over us, that's that's just a shame. It's just a shame. And I would not be surprised if JT left, if DD left, and if all these guys wanted to leave. I would not be surprised. Because the bullpen, the management, the ownership, it's awful. It's horrendous. Matt Klintak sucks at his job. He's awful. He needs to get fired now. He needs to go. He needs to go just like Brett Brown did. It's time for a change. And get him out of here. Get him out of Philadelphia. He stinks. He stinks. I can't stand Matt Clintag. He does nothing. You know who hit that three run or that, that base is clearing double in the eighth to tie the game? Starling Marte. You know who did something this all this um trade deadline? The Marlins. You know who they got? Starling Marte. Oh, we could have used the bat off the bench. We could have used the DH instead of using Andrew Knapp. Bruce has been hurt all season. You would think for a second in Klintak's mind that he would go out and get a true DH. Somebody that could truly be the DH. Nope. He doesn't. He decides not to. He doesn't. He he just does nothing like he usually does. Awful, awful, awful. He's awful. The bullpen still stinks. And the Phillies lose 7-6 in the bottom of the ninth to Jorge Alfaro. 
Play a doubleheader tomorrow. Don't even know who's on the mound. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe on the road to 1K. Thank you all for watching, and I'm out. Peace.